Alice H. Parker was an African-American born in 1895 in Morristown, New Jersey. Daughter of George W. Parker and Philura L. She attended classes at Howard University in Washington, D.C. and graduated with honors in 1910. During the early 20th century, women had had limited opportunities, let alone women of color. In the early 20th century, natural gas was used for industrial heating applications but no one at the time considered using it as a form of heat for homes and businesses. Alice H. Parker got tired of cold winters in New Jersey, chopping or buying wood and the ineffectiveness of fireplace and warming her home, she taught of a better way. In 1919 Alice H. Parker received a patent for a central heating that used natural gas. Her design allowed cool air to be drawn into the furnace, then conveyed through a heat exchanger that delivered warm air through ducts to individual rooms of a house, it included a multiple burner system. Her invention was unique in that it used natural gas instead of coal. It was like later zone heating, where the temperature could be moderated in different areas of a building. It also decreased the risk of house fires that fireplaces posed in a home by eliminating the need to leave a burning fireplace on throughout the night. Alice H. Parker's design supplied central heating for entire home. In the 1920s natural gas to power a heating furnace was a revolutionary idea that conserved energy and paved way for modern central heating systems in millions of homes and businesses around the world today. Alice H. Parker receiving a patent was a remarkable milestone as a woman, let alone an African-American woman in the early 20th century, women had very limited opportunities, this was truly an outstanding achievement prior to civil rights movement and the women liberation movement. This inspired a new generation of women and African Americans. Nowadays we use a thermostat and forced air furnace in our homes which is attributed to Alice H. Parker's design and invention of central heating furnace. Sadly Alice H. Parker died in 1920 in New Jersey, she never received due credit for her invention and her exact design was never sold, but rather copied and modified by others for widespread commercial use, she never benefited financially from it. Alice H. Parker's legacy endures through the New Jersey Chamber of Commerce Award, which recognizes women leaders and their innovation in New Jersey.